solid molecular hydrogen. For hydrogen, one finds from measurements on the gas that the Leonard Jones parameters are epsilon equals 50 times 10 to minus 16 ergs and sigma is 2.96 angstroms. Find the cohesive energy in kilojoules per mole of hydrogen. Do the calculation for an FCC structure. Treat each hydrogen molecule as a sphere. The observed value of the cohesive energy is 0.751 kilojoules per mole, much less than we calculated, thus quantum corrections must be very important. Okay, so we know the result for FCC structure, so using the cohesive energy for FCC found in the pre previous problem, this problem was a cohesive energy of uh, BCC and FCC neon, and remember, in the second part, we calculated this uh, cohesive energy. So um, this was the Leonard-Jones potential with the proper lattice sums here. And this was the value of the cohesive energy minus 8.6 capital N times epsilon. <clears throat> so uh, we have the Leonard-Jones parameters epsilon is given as 50 times 10 to minus 16 ergs. And we know that one joule is 10 to 7 ergs. So we can convert this to uh, joules. Therefore, we will find that the epsilon value is 50 times 10 to minus 16 times 10 to minus 7, which is 50 times 10 to minus 23 joules. Now for one mole, one mole of hydrogen, we have uh, the number of molecules, Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to 23 molecules. So we can calculate the cohesive energy for the equilibrium separation. It is minus 8.6. So it is this value here, 8.6 times an epsilon. So it is minus 8.6 times Avogadro's number 6.02 10 to 23 times 50, 10 to minus 23. So we obtain minus 2588.6 joules, which can be rounded to minus 2.6 kilojoules. So we obtain the cohesive energy R0 to be approximately minus 2.6 kilojoules per mole. So this is our answer. Now, uh, the problem statement says this value is decreased significantly to uh, 0 0.751 uh, kilojoules per mole uh, due to quantum corrections. And if you look at the uh, melting point of hydrogen, it's actually 14 Kelvin and actually hydrogen crystallizes into hexagonal closed-packed structure, HCP structure. So if you look at the properties of uh, inert gases here, uh, you can see that experimental cohesive energy for neon is 1.88 kilojoules per mole and melting point is 24.56 Kelvin. But uh, the uh, the, the, that of the hydrogen is 14 Kelvin. So you can see that the melting point of neon is a higher, so it should have a, a higher uh, cohesive energy. 
uh, whereas we calculated here 2.6. So this basically reflects the fact that it is actually reduced due to quantum corrections here. Actually, the, that of neon is higher uh, corresponding to a larger melting point. Okay, so in this problem, uh, using the um, parameters uh, that we have uh, obtained for uh, neon, the cohesive energy for FCC found in the previous problem, and taking sigma to be 2.96 uh, uh, angstroms, you can see that that of neon was 2.74. Uh, we have obtained the uh, cohesive energy uh, using this uh, formalism with the proper uh, choice of sigma and epsilon. So uh, the value obtained here uh, was for neon.